Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop into it, Pisces. Get our universal message. Let's see how you guys are doing on your soul's journey. All right. What is the energy on Pisces' soul's journey here? Pisces, we have judgment. Soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. Hmm. Learning yourself is more important, right? Going from within. Right? Being delivered. Right? Some soul searching. It feels that hermit energy. Some of you may need time to yourself to reset yourself. Some of you need to find your inner peace, your inner joy, knowing that it comes from within. And these are things that you can't get from outside of you. No one can come in and change your life, make you happy. You That joy comes from within, right? So it's like Pisces, the universe is saying, do some soul searching. Find that inner person to bring that inner peace to your life in all areas of your life. Okay. Joy comes from within. Everything you need to bring peace and joy into your life comes from within you. These are things you cannot find outside of yourself. So maybe that was an important message for somebody here. Judgment. You can't find peace and joy outside of yourself it comes from within so learn yourself here all right pisces so that's how it is on the soul's journey let's hop into it let's collect the energy of your person let's see what's going on in their emotions this is the um star trek next generation deck so let's see what's going on in your person's emotions here pisces for you what they feeling at this time Okay, so we got the Knight of Cloaks. The Knight of Cloaks in this deck is the Knight of Swords. Okay. We have the Page of Cloaks, which is the Page of Swords. Oh my God, all these swords. Okay, we have the Hangman. Okay, some type of emotion, okay? Because I was going to say all these swords. Woo, this person. Okay, so let's get one more for what's in Pisces person's emotions. And we have the strength card. Okay. Now, what's crossing all that energy is the ace of starships, which is the ace of cups. So, this person loves you, Pisces. Possibly in love. Okay. I see them having an abundance of love for you. So, they are in love with you here, Pisces. That's the overall energy about you is the Ace of Cups, a new beginning in love or a beginning in love. So let's start here with the um, Knight of Cloaks, right? It's like this person wants to rush in, in, in to you, like rush in on you. It's like they want to speak something, but they don't know what to say. It's like I want to come and talk to you, Pisces, but I don't know what to say. Right. And this is all stemming because of how I feel about you with this Ace of Cups. With the Page of Cloaks, it's like I want to have a conversation with you because I've been enlightened here with the hangman. I see things different now. I see everything for what it is. Right. And your person is trying to build up the courage to come in and communicate to you on how they feel. That's the energy of your person, Pisces. They want to talk to you. They want to rush in and talk to you. It's like they want to talk to you sooner than later. Right? They want to have a conversation about their feelings and about the relationship between you two. Possibly starting something over or starting again. Okay? And then with the hangman, it's like I see things different now. Right? I've had some form of awakening. I get it. I, I got the whole big picture. And now I'm just trying to build up the strength to come in and say to you what I need to say to you in hopes that we can start a uh, new building something. Right? So let's see, what is this Knight of Cloaks? Why is this person at a loss for words? Why is this person at a loss for words? The Ace of Pentacles, right? It's because they really, really, really want to have this new beginning with you. They really, really, really want to build something solid here, right? So what is this opportunity, right? What is this person wanting to build with Pisces? And it's the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So it's like this person 
they don't want to be single, right? They want to be, they want to have a relationship with you. So they want to talk about building a solid, strong foundation together. Okay, let's see what else comes with this Knight of Cloaks. And we got the Two of Swords. So it's like this person is making a decision. It's like if I was undecisive about what I wanted from you in the past, I, I'm pretty sure now. So this person has made a decision to try to reconnect with you and build a strong relationship with you. So this person wants to have a relationship. The, the page of cloaks, they want to communicate this to you. They want to sit down and have a real conversation about it. So let's see what this conversation consists of. And it's the world. So this person just want to let bygones be bygones. I get the energy that they want to put the past behind them. You know, cut all the cords to the toxic uh, energies from the past and start something new here. Right? So it's like this person wants a new beginning uh, um, with a different approach. It's like... This time around, it'll be different. That's what they want to talk to you about. It's like, I want to convince you to start a new life with me. I want to convince you that um, I can protect you and provide for you and, and, and invest into you, you know, and all the things it takes to have a healthy relationship. It's like, this is what they want to talk about. They want to convince you to, you know, accept them back and be in a relationship after their deception here with the seven of swords after their deception, right? They want to talk about that too. What else comes with this page of cloaks? And it's the king of Latinum, Mr. Casil don't feel okay. So it's like this person, it's like your person wants to conversate with you about, you know, letting bygones be bygones hope in hopes that we can move forward, promising you a solid new foundation, security, protection, commitment, right? After being dishonest in the past or disloyal with the king of Latinum, which is the king of pentacles. Now this person is ready to have success with you here. And it's like they're ready to open up so you all can grow together because the king of Latinum is a successful person, but he also helps other people become successful. So it's like this person wants to work with you on having a successful relationship after they've, you know, created some um, trust issues in the past. And what's crossing that is the star. So it's like this person wants to heal that situation. They want to make it better. They are ready to pour into you because you're some form of wish fulfillment to them. When it comes to the hangman, it's like, okay, I get that I messed up in the past. I get that, you know, I I have not been a perfect partner or person. So let's see, what is their new perspective? Their new perspective is the lovers, right? So it's like this person is in love with you. This is confirmation that they're in love with you and that they want to have a stronger bond, a stronger partnership. Right. Oh, and they want to move forward. Pisces, possibly one day, you know, ask for your hand in marriage with this particular lovers because it's like they're at the altar, you know. So it's like this person gets it now. You're the love of their life. Right. And it's like they don't want to lose out on that. Right. It's like that awakening. It's like the universe. This person's intuition is telling them, go get your Pisces, fix the situation with Pisces if it's possible. And that's what they're doing. But this time around, they're serious about it, right? Because they've already messed up and what's out there, nothing's better than you. Okay, so let's see what else has this person to wake into. And it's the five of wands in the reverse. So it's like this person realizes that you know, lying, being deceptive and not treating their person right is chaotic. So it's like, I want to come out of the energy of making you feel unsafe or that you have to compete for my love, right? They're aware that they have put you in situations where you had to be tested, where you possibly had to fight for them. Or, you know, check other people about them. And it's like, I'm sorry about putting you in that energy. That's not healthy. And that's what I, that's not what I want. 
So it's like this person is aware that they are a huge part of why this connection failed. And they want to come in and fix it. Okay. So let's see what else comes in with the hangman. What else has this person become aware of? And we have the three of pentacles. Okay. That their third party situations has truly proven that, that that's what, what uh, destroyed their connection with you. Them working with others. You know, having connections with others, building things with others, relationships, emotions, whatever it is. So it's like this person is awakened to the fact that you're the love of my life and, and I haven't been honest. I've been, you know, out here messing with other people or doing things that make you feel uncomfortable or make you feel like, like you have to fight to survive this relationship or compete for my love. I realized that and I want to talk about it because I know that it's unhealthy. I know that it was toxic and I just want to make it right, right? I just want to make it right. So it's like with the strength card, you know, this person feels like it, it, I don't know if they feel it, but I don't think this is the type of person that truly always express themselves in this depth of what, like being like, um, really assertive about what they want because the strength speaks of assertiveness right so this person is like coming to you to be had this conversation to be honest about what truly happened that destroyed the relationship how they truly feel about you when it comes to this relationship and try to fix all the mistakes that they made and for them that takes courage because they probably never broke down to anyone like this to try to win them back. It probably usually if we break up, oh, well, I'll try, but if it don't work out, oh, well. But with you, they really want it to work out. So they really want to sit down and, and hope that you understand where they coming from and how bad they want this relationship with you. So for them, that takes a lot of courage. It's hard to do. That's why with the Knight of Swords, it's like, I got so much to say, but I don't really know what I'm going to say. I don't really I, I, I don't know what to say, right? But I'm going to try my best to get it out. So the strength comes with the Ace of Cups. So it came out. And that's because they love you, Pisces. Love is a powerful emotion. And it drives people. And this person wants to show you how much they love you. And it's like with the strength card... They mean this from the bottom of their heart. They proud to love you, right? So let's see what else comes with this strip card. And it's the nine of starships, which is the nine of cups. And, and the nine and the ten makes the ten of cups. Pisces, this, one, this person wants to build a forever emotional satisfaction. They do. It's like you are everything to them. And they and it's sad that they didn't realize it till you were gone. But this is somebody who's doing everything they can to have that back and to show you how apologetic they are, to show you how much they care, right? To actually sit down and talk to you and see if we can agree upon something, to see if we can have forgiveness in our heart, to see if I can move forward with you because I really want you. I want you. Right. So Pisces, this is someone who really wants to be with you. OK. And then we have the ace of swords that come with the strength. Like I said, it takes a lot for this person to speak this truth. I feel like any other person, they may try to get back. And if it don't work out, that's that. But for you, I feel like this person is willing to fight for you. They are willing to go the extra mile to show you and tell you what they really feel and, and to try to fix the mistakes that they've made when it comes to you. Let's see what's crossing that energy, Pisces. And it's the Eight of Swords, right? So this person is all in their head about it. You know, you live in rent free in their mind. And with this Eight of Swords, I feel like they just can't stop thinking about you, about what they've done and what the outcome is going to be of this situation. 
So let's see if we can get a little deeper. Stop it. Let's see if we can get a little deeper into um, what they may be wanting to say to you, Pisces. Okay, we have life is a great big canvas. Throw all the paint on it you can, right? So this is like uh, nothing is perfect. Nobody is perfect, right? We all make mistakes, but we can fix them and turn them into something right right we can work on our mistakes life is a great big canvas you live and you learn and i learned my lesson right and life with you is great so pisces that's what they want to say to you here let's see what's the energy what energy are they coming in pisces and we have hawk smash think first smash later right so this person is trying to think of ways to get you back right to make things right, to fix what they've destroyed. So I hope this resonated, Pisces. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we can say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces, we have the third chakra, and this is the solar plexus chakra, and this one is relevant to self-discipline. Now, before, because this card came out, before I read it, I want to, it's something else popped up. The universe says, say it, okay? So for some of you with this person, you're going to have to be disciplined and resist this person, no matter how hard it may be, right? For some of you, this simply ain't your person. Because if you can cheat on me and do things that break us up, then maybe, you know, I, I need to learn from that. So the universe is strongly suggested for some of you when it comes to this particular person, you need to have a lot of self-discipline. You need to know who you are, where you stand and stick to your guns when it comes to this person. For others of you, you know, the choice is yours. Okay, so self-discipline. My self-discipline and willpower will significantly help me in my efforts to move and forwards and grow. I am free of the need for others, for the approval of others. I face each challenge with determination and courage, and I am determined to live my life to its full potential. I am strong and capable. My actions speak louder than my words, right? So show me better than you can tell me, Pisces. Self-discipline is our positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.